guys, welcome back to another part of the Sims 4 Cool Baby Challenge. So today is episode 12. So there's quite a lot of stuff that's going to happen today. One, we're going to have a vampire baby. Concerned about that whole situation. What if it has fangs when it comes out? And it seems scary to have a, a baby with full teeth. I don't know. <laughs> and from Faye's point of view, can you imagine breastfeeding with a vampire? Sorry, I'm so sorry. This is off topic. My point being, the main thing I want to do today is I really want to kill some Sims. Listen, okay? I currently have my period and, and, and that's making me really want to kill Sims. Like a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> so i'm gonna do that today and no one can be mad at me for it otherwise i'll cry because i did last night when watching the finale of the tv show ghosts and it was the most emotional time of my life so i can't cry anymore my eyes have disappeared because i was crying so much honestly there's no liquid left in this body from all the tears okay please excuse my hair i don't know either okay i don't know uh anyway so first thing i want to mention is that i kind of expanded the house so i realized we had like three grand saved up and i just thought you know what screw it you know what i'm gonna splurge today oh my god funny story by the way this is not even slightly on topic but the word splurge my friends had never heard of that and they thought i was gonna like kill someone they thought splurge was like you know splurge of blood or something i was like girl i'm on about flipping splurging on money not murdering spree for god's sakes anyways <laughs> shopping spree murdering spree you know they get very confused easily so my point being i expanded the house so i was like you know what this house is expanding we need something to do with it because it just it, it listen do we only have 190 smolians left absolutely but you know who cares when you've got an aesthetic house so it looks basically the same i added a gargoyle on there though just for for vibes you know to warn the folk although do we want to warn them or do we want to invite them in kind of casually and then you know kill them i mean either way is good with me i've expanded the whole thing i've added windows on the side listen it's a bit unfortunate still i know i need to add vines and stuff going up the side and also we have these like, the like love day like all like the decorations off that's not really part of the aesthetic but i'm here for oh i i missed a wall <sighs> Oh, God. Can I do anything right? No. No, it appears not. No, actually. I added this back balcony bit out here. And I also added that really cool window because it's not sick. So I kind of want that to be like a back door, maybe. And then we have like a cool patio out here. I've expanded the fences. So we have a bit more of a back garden. This is a bit of a homage to where she started from, you know. Just the whole thing's moved around a little bit. And then inside, it doesn't look really much different because I kind of ran out of money. I realized how expensive walls were. So a lot of this stuff, by the way, is debug. Like all of these fences and everything is all debug because we cannot afford real fences. Okay, that's just not part of our budget, right? Right now the kitchen's moved a little bit obviously we can make that bigger dining table i might move the dining table into the living room i'm not entirely sure yet also these flipping windows are gorgeous from the outside but they're white on the in why would they be white on the inside there's no option to not have them white and it's peeing me off but you know you live and you learn i guess why do i just use random sayings that don't fit in, in situation i just felt like to feel smart when i say a saying you know i like to feel like one of those old people that go oh you know two pennies for the price of a nickel or something like that and i'm like girl what do you mean <laughs> That's not real words. That's also not saying, by the way, don't start using that in everyday language. I don't know what that means. Anyways, the living room looks a bit lame because there's not really anything else going on right now. Also, this flipping glitch is peeing me off. You see, like, how that goes through? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Then upstairs, we have a bit of an expanded hallway. And then we have Faye's room is the same. But then in this room, I've actually cut off the bit between Jacob's and Amethyst's room and Tinker's room because I felt a bit bad that they were sharing a room still, especially because Jacob is, like, a teenager, you know, and it just felt a little bit more private. So I think Jacob's room is really cute. We've got all the little things that they've made over the years and then their little boxing thing and i think that'd be such a nice place to box and like look out the window not that that's actually a feature in the sims they literally will do that anyway even if they're in a basement somewhere they'll be like oh my god this place is so beautiful as long as there's like a plant in the corner which to be fair a plant does make a room anyways i say a plant makes a room yeah that's just me trying to avoid the fact that yes there is indeed a plant coming into the room don't want to talk about it this is amethyst and tinker's room it's not really changed at all to be honest it's basically the same i'll move that over a little bit actually oh over the door is that cute no ugly okay <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, this place a little bit unfortunate. And then this room is a lot bigger now. So this is where all the kids are. Again, I want to separate the rooms and everything in the future. So I was thinking when I was making this build that I would love, 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 love to make a little tiny town. So I think that this would be a little town on this one lot. So you know how we said that we want to make it into a residential rental so that when the kids move out and when they're young adults, they get to still live on the same lot. Originally, I was thinking maybe like townhouses or something, which someone suggested. But then I thought, what if we move this house to like the very back of the lot here? And then all around, we have little tiny houses of all of the different types of occults and all the different kids so we have like a werewolf one for jacob and so on and so forth and i think that'd be such a good idea will it be able to all fit on this one lot probably not and obviously in terms of money what we'll do is we'll just spend whatever we want in terms of like for the kids because we won't be living in those houses so it doesn't matter if we're spending extra money like we're not going to be playing as jacob once they become an adult i'm not bothered about you know how much money we're spending in terms of other stuff obviously for this exact house we're not going to be spending any more money also don't know how we pay the rent at all like the bills are gonna be so expensive when we do that but i think that's such a cool idea is to have like a full little town of all of our children on one lot.
lot and I think it'd be so nice to be able to like visit them and just see them walking around and stuff and we can maybe have a lot of this house be open for them so they can just come in whenever they want. I think that's just such a lovely idea so I think I will be doing that. There is a few of the children that I don't think are going to live on this lot. For example, the Grim Reaper's child. I want them to live on the cemetery because I think that'd be so cool having them live at the graveyard and like taking care of all the dead people or whatever. God, I really am side party today. <sighs> Listen. It's not my fault. The point is, I think that'd be a really cool idea. Now, I have no building abilities at all, so I don't know how that will go, but we'll have to see. Anyways, one quick thing I need to note before we really get into the video, even though it's like eight minutes of filming already and I've yet to even start doing anything, is that I kind of... <laughs> funny story. So I was going through the lovely hashtag, which by the way, is this hashtag right here. It's quite a cool. I've gone through and I've added a load of these sims. As you can see, there's a lot of them that are favorited. All the ones that are favorited, I've added in. I've literally looked through every single one. Genuinely, I've clicked through every single, 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 single one. Unfortunately, as much as I love all of them, I literally can't add all of them in because the world will break if I do that. So I have gone through and added a ton. Like you guys added so many. Thank you guys so much. Like, look how far I'm scrolling, bro. Like what the hell? So I've added a load of these in. But as I was doing that, I went through and deleted some of the like random strays that had just like appeared, you know, like, the randomly generated townies they add into the game and i accidentally deleted carp <laughs> if you don't know who carp is if you don't remember that is the tragic clown she's gone now forever in fact if you go on to the children's yeah they don't have a parent anymore <laughs> so yeah, I mean, funny story, really. But it was, it was, it was, it was too late because I hadn't saved in ages and I was not about to like go and do all my work again. So she's gone. Realistically, it's not the end of the world. We've had the babies with her. So all we have to do is just kill another tragic clown, which is fine. They'll spawn one. But I just thought I'd let you know if you don't see her on this panel now, that's because she's literally been, um, well, not even killed. That would be nicer. She's literally been evaporated into nothingness. Basically, she's gone. <laughs> She's, 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 she's gone. She's ash in the air. Not even. There's nothing left of her. There's no particles of her left. The tragic clown is no longer. And I do apologize for that. But, um, like I said, I was not going to go back and, and do all my hard work again. Listen, takes a lot of time to add all these townies. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's just ignore that I accidentally killed. Although, you know, what? we're killing them anyway. So, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Right, guys? It's not that bad. Don't worry about it. Carp wasn't a fan favorite anyway. So, it's fine. So, obviously, today we are going to be having the next baby. So, she's in a second trimester in 16 hours. You know, she's only just started being pregnant. But I will have this baby today. I want her to have this baby so bad because, oh, hello. Are you floating? Oh, no. No, you're casual. You're casual. Also, taking a photo of your muscles. Who to? Is that to Alexander or to Wolfgang? I've forgotten that we're actually not, like, dating. Do we even know Alexander anymore? Where, where's, where's bro God? Oh, we barely even know him. But obviously, in the last episode, we have Wolfgang and Jacob who, are they, are they actually dating or not? I can't remember. No, they're not actually fully dating yet. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. A few things I forgot about today. Number one is that it is their prom today. So, it's Jacob and Amethyst's prom, or it should be at the least. So, hopefully, that'll happen today. And another thing is that tomorrow is Jacob's wolf day, which means that Jacob could finally become a werewolf, which is so exciting. Anyways, all these sims are in absolutely crappy moods because, of course, I always leave them in the worst moods possible <laughs> because I hate myself. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get everyone up, get everyone ready for the day because it's a Saturday and I do want to kill people today. So, you know, big plans, big plans. Um, <laughs> Priorities, guys, you know. <laughs> also, how is Faya so tired? Was she out all night last night? I can't remember, but that's not what you want, really. Jacob, actually, can you be a darling and come in here and put Art and Penny down? A lot of you guys were saying, first of all, that you think Eve has Krampus vibes. And I love that because Krampus is one of my all-time favorite Christmas films. Actually, I think it's my favorite. It's not the most Christmassy or anything. The child just looked at me again. Okay, girl, please stop. <laughs> but I love the idea of her going for a more Krampus vibe because I love Krampus. And the whole idea of an evil Santa is amazing. If you don't know what Krampus is, it's literally just like an evil Santa. It's just the opposite of Santa in every way, which I really, really love. And because of the teeth, obviously, which are actually just horrifying. But then also, you guys were saying that it'd be really fun for Art and Penny. Oh, we've got, okay, our bills. Are, okay, <laughs> let's pay our bills guys please it would be really fun if art and penny were like a happy and a sad clown so one of them was like the happy clown like you know like the epitome of like a clown like a birthday party and then we have like a really sad clown to match like obviously the parent which has a uh, she has not in doubt but um you know it's fine it's fine the kids don't remember her that's the thing it's kind of better in a way they've looked out really because all the other kids they have to know that their parent died these two nah nah bro just a memory wiped from them you know is that more depressing or less depressing? I'm going to say less depressing. <laughs> Just to make myself feel like I'm not an absolute um, horrible person. So, slay. Okay, can we please feed Art? Also, child, what are you doing? Good old Eve. You need to get your skills up because I do want you to get aged up. Maybe today actually would be helpful because having like three people underneath the age of children is actually making me want to cry. So, you know, <laughs> not really the vibe, you know. To be fair, toddlers aren't that bad. I remember when everyone was like, oh my god, toddlers are literally the worst thing. Like, they're so difficult to take care of. Like, when they first came out, everyone was 
like, oh my God, you know, these are so difficult. Then infants came out and everyone was like, oh, toddlers, I love you. You know, we've really changed on toddlers. I can't blame, I can't blame us because toddlers are so much easier. Infants are honest to God, the worst thing they ever added to The Sims 4. And I say that with absolute love because, you know, like, oh, look how cute it is. Oh, look how cute it is. It's a demon. It's an actual demon. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. This is why whenever people are like, oh, why don't you want to have kids? <laughs> I've, I, I've seen children in The Sims 4 enough to know that I don't want them. You know what I mean? Like, Faye is that upset about having to have all these children that she has to go around and kill people. I mean, that's not actually what happened, but it feels linked somehow. Anyways, let's go ahead and get you to go to bed, babes, because you are really, really, really tired. At least this bed is really good, so she should sleep pretty well. Okay, child, just sleep. Oh my god, cry, cry, cry. Boo flipping who, okay? Just sleep. It's not that difficult. I say that, actually. I really can't sleep at all. I'm not one to talk. <laughs> Feeding Tinkler. Art, you just peed on your sibling. Right, I've got a feeling they're not going to get along that well. But <laughs> personally, if that happened to me, if I was Jacob, that would be it for me. I'd be like, okay, child, go, go put put down, okay? <laughs> I'm never going to... Uh, no, 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 thank you. Why is everyone so exhausted? I think I'm just going to get everyone to go back to sleep, to be honest. Because, like, except for Amethyst. Amethyst is having a right old time. She's just down here watching the telly. What are you watching, babes? Roaring Vice. Totes, totes. Let's get you to actually practice some of your skills. Did she ask anyone to prom? I feel like, did she ask Nova to prom? Oh, wait, she did. Okay, I was going to say, because I really want both of them to have dates for prom even if it's just as friends i just i want them to have i want them to be i just feel like it's so cute i don't know i really want them to be going to prom with people and let's also practice some practical magic as well whilst we're here summon laurel oh an icon <laughs> an actual icon what can i say who doesn't want a weird sort of pig looking familiar called laurel flying around next to you all the time i don't know about you guys but that's the dream you know, who wouldn't want to be pooing with that little guy next to me? Oh, look, she's taking a selfie with it. That's so cute. Royalty report. Yay. We got a lot of money. Main one actually is a warning before you have a cult baby. So that makes a lot of sense that that's the most popular one. Because that is that, that was a bad idea. Let's be real. Let's be real right now. Whose silly idea was that? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Wolfgang's phone in. <gasps> Do you want to go on a date? Oh, I would love to, but I'm not really, like, feeling great right now. I mean, listen, we're going to be going to prom afterwards, okay? Like, it's fine. Also, Art, please go to sleep, okay? Just please go to sleep. We need to get their milestones. So, how are they doing with their milestones right now? Okay, zero. Okay, just one. <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, they did literally just age up in the last episode, but that is a little bit more upsetting than I had expected. Amethyst, you've got it good right now. You're the only one wide awake, so you're just, like, down here. Finally got some alone time. Doing your little magic. Honestly, the dream. I love how she always seems to change into this outfit when she does magic. I know it's not intentional, but it's such a cute little thing. Like, she just likes to put on a little hat and, like, I like the idea of her getting all this stuff from, like, the outside and, like, putting all of them onto the hat. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. How do you become friends with Caleb for toys? Pretty cool. Oh, Quirty, you don't know anything, do you? That's so sad. Oh, guys, because that's Quirty saying, oh, you became just friends with Caleb at all. Like, they don't know that we're having a baby with him. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm gonna cry. Quirty is an icon, okay? You guys are like, you should kill Quirty. Girl, shut up. Hush, little child, otherwise I will kill you. That's a joke, but not really. Sorry, but the point is, I'm not having that. Okay, Quirt is too much of an icon. Okay, I just am. I simply am. I'm gonna do a scrubber room on yourself. There you go. Never have to take a shower again. Although I will say, how clean can that possibly make you? You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. I am gonna get everyone up now because I've realized that they're gonna end up nocturnal, which is not, not what you want nocturnal uh, what you no didn't work move on move on Lan. move on tinker you need to get a few of your skills up and then you can age up i really want tinker to age up today because i really want to see how she's gonna look as a teenager how oh, this fun is so low oh my god girl can you not like i don't know play catch with laurel or something <laughs> there's gotta be something you could do surely because it's so terrible outside i don't want to go out there maybe just watch a movie you know see what's on what's on tv or maybe like watch charmed or something you know just to feel you know connected to people because let's be real this whole family you do not feel connected to you've got a robot you got a werewolf you got a you know a furry person and then you got a goddamn krampus like i would not feel welcome or connected to anyone in this household like does she get on well with anyone actually mm, jacob and her do get on well which is nice maybe you should invite nova over actually nova over nova over nova over. sorry it just it it rhymed it just <clears throat> it just it just sounded it just sounded funny so <gasps> hi amethyst we love to join the renegades no she's not mean maybe ask like jacob or something but jacob's not mean but i just feel like more likely to you know oh yay penny's awake <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it's just what I wanted, actually. That was the plan all along. You know what? The child's doing fine right now. Just look at toys, girl. Just look at toys. It's all good, okay? Maybe you play with, like, a jack-in-a-box or something. You know, that seems very fitting. I'm wealthy. Very wealthy. Just last month, I bought Social Bunny and Cuba's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye, and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have 
have gifts for you? What do you say? Okay, I have never actually gotten this phone call since Love Struck came out, but I'm pretty sure this is the wealthy weirdo who gives you money if you see them. Huh, right, I am tempted. Because listen, we could upgrade the house. It is Hugo Villarreal as well. Less scary than Nancy Langrab, who I'm pretty sure is the normal wealthy weirdo, but she's probably dead now. And the, the crowd cheers, you know what I mean? Mm, perhaps. Hey, that's great. I would send a limo, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. I'll be waiting at the Beso Rapido Motel in Vista Hermosa. I can only meet today. Very busy with many CEO things. Hope to see you. Okay. Okay, right. Th listen, could she potentially die from doing this? I hope not. But listen, here's the thing. Faye has killed many a folk. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe this will just be a great opportunity for her to kill someone else. We're having a little get together before prom to join. First of all, this person looks like a full-on adult, so no. But um, <laughs> I'm a bit concerned. Everyone's safety is a bit un unsure right now, but I, I really want to go. I want to go. I'm going to go. You know what? It's The Sims 4. How bad can it be, right? <laughs> they say as they don't, you know, drown people casually in the pool and stuff, but we might as well. Worst case, we don't get any money. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's head on over then. Maybe we should bring someone. Let's just go to the lounge. You know, we might see people anyways. Maybe we bring like, mm, who's the most likely to be able to kill someone? Technically, Vladdy Daddy, but I don't trust that he'll actually come with. I would bring Jacob, but they're not really the most terrifying type. You know what I mean? Maybe we'll bring Amethyst, okay? Maybe Amethyst could like, you know, scrubberoo them or something and terrify them so much. You know, that would not work. That would, not, that would just make them clean. Amethyst, this is why you learn in practical magic. It's all fun and games, you know, because it's a nice thing to do around the house. But sometimes I want your chores to be killing people. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that not, is that not possible? You know? Okay, we're here. Oh, we have our familiar as well. Good sign, good sign. Where is, is this it? Okay, meet wealthy weirdo. Right, Amethyst, come here, child, okay? You're gonna come in with us, okay? I'm a bit frightened, but she's a pregnant woman, so she can't die anyways. A win is a win. Please get us some money. That would be really swell. Okay, she's in. This motel is terrifying, I just wanna say. That is a really scary. <gasps> Accepting wealthy widow's request. What has Faye gotten into? A wealthy weirdo called and wants to meet in person. The meeting will take place, blah, 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 blah. Invitation stands until the moodlet expires. Who knows? This quirky adventure might just surprise Faye. Please be lots of money. <laughs> I'm begging, please. Hugo Villarreal. Oh, you know what's really funny? Check your pockets. I've got some gifts. Okay, I was just gonna say, what's really funny is that we kicked the Villarreals out to move into that house. So actually going there could have been really dangerous because I feel like Jacques Villarreal, you know, Hugo's dad, could have really been looking for revenge. But did we actually get stuff? A cell, right. This is not really like the money I had thought. We got an axolotl though. That's exciting. But did you really give us an egg? <laughs> Did you really give us a- I thought you were meant to be wealthy. I was expecting lots of money. I mean, we've got diamonds, which is nice. Sims will always succeed at apologizing in bed. What has this guy given us, bro? Oh my god. You know what? Thanks, <laughs> I think. I mean, we can sell a couple things, but I was I was really hoping for, like, good money here. I mean, I'll take the axolotl, but that was a bit disappointing. Good lord. Oh, actually, before I leave, let's uh, let's have a quick look on Cupid's Corner. Just because I'm intrigued, see if there's any uh, any other people. Oh my god, girl, what is that picture? <laughs> okay, okay. Also, get rid of elders off there. No, none of these are- none of these are- you know, the people we want. Anyone. Clement, good so. We've already had a baby with you. Also, that outfit is not working for me. I'm so sorry to tell you this. Um, <laughs> no occults, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll head home. That was Loki a failure, but also we got an axolotl. So can you ever call a day a failure if you ended up with an axolotl at the end of it? No. No, you cannot. What more could one want? Honestly. Except for money. That would have been really nice. But the axolotl's uh, uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> As I said, we did kind of bulldoze his house, evict him and everything. And, you know, so, I mean, I can't really blame the guy that much. Where should we put our little axolotl then? Can we put it anywhere? In the kitchen? Maybe not. <gasps> Look, it's so cute. And also, it kind of fits like our aesthetic. Maybe we'll put it like in Jacob's room or something. Or Amethyst. I feel like Amethyst would really like it. Not really anywhere to push it. Could you put it on the floor? <laughs> um, sure. Caleb, do you want to go on a date? No, thank you. Also, to go to clove store? Bro, what are you? You are not trendy. I'm sorry. Oh, God. And now everyone's in a mess. And all these people... Oh, why do the infants... Why is it when I come back, they always are somewhere else? Actually, where is the other child? Downstairs! Um, Art's hair is gone. <laughs> not to concern anyone. Also, are you sat on something? What are you sat on? What is... Is that a toy? Good, sir. That is so unfortunate of a place to... <laughs> to be placed it. That's really, really unfortunate. Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, and Nova's here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amethyst. I made you abandon your, uh, <laughs> your kind of girlfriend. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot about Eve's outfit. Bless your little cotton socks. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so sorry about all of that. Honest to God. Honestly, thank God for Jacob. They are really carrying right now. Like, they are fully carrying as well, because they're carrying art up the stairs. Like, they are literally a legend. It's so helpful having teenagers. This is why I want Tinker to age up as well. Oh, also another thing. So, I said in the last episode that it'd be weird if, like, Amethyst aged up before Jacob, but some Someone said, and I think this is such a cute idea. It's not that Amethyst ages up faster, it's that Amethyst is more mature and therefore like moves out first. And I think that's such a cute idea. So I think that even if Amethyst does end up getting the spells faster than Jacob gets their stuff done, I'm not gonna be that like upset about it. Like Amethyst can move out first, that's fine. I know it won't make much sense in terms of ages, but I don't think it's the end of the world, like you said. It makes a little bit of sense, and because this the thing is, this 
is our last time we can have a baby. Like, this is the last one of the household, obviously, because there's eight Sims. So once we have this baby, we can't physically have any more. And I don't want to just be stuck waiting for Jacob to get level 10 fitness because that's going to take so long. So basically, the point is, if they can age up, they'll age up. It doesn't matter if they're, like, younger than their sibling. It's fine. Also, shouldn't prom be, like, right now? Like, what is going on? Am I mistaken? I swear prom starts at six. Why aren't we going to prom? <laughs> guys i really want to go to prom i swear to god if it doesn't work is it because of the talent show thing i swear to god if that's why i'm gonna be so mad i really want to go to prom guys <laughs> i really want to go i don't want to i don't want to not go that'd be so sad maybe it starts at seven i picked you starting at six though some connections of mine heard of a party going down with some college students this could be our chance to show the world how cool we are okay jacob has accepted the invite but now it needs to find a way there they can ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches them click it on the ground or an open window will give them options how to get to the event bro just go Faya does not care i'm sorry but <laughs> she really does not. You're showering with the shirt on and a bionic arm. I mean... Yeah, I really don't think prom's happening, hence why I've put that. But that's so sad if prom's not happening, because I don't think they've got another chance. Look, it's getting, it's, it's about to be seven. Is it, are we going? Or like, what? Is, is it happening now? <gasps> oh, it is! Okay, oh my god. Also, why is it just with Amethyst? I feel like Jacob is very broken. Like, Jacob is like at school, but not at school. This is so weird. Oh wait, Jacob is here. <gasps> wearing a stunning outfit. But where's, who's, shouldn't? Okay, right. I don't know what's going on, but let's find. Okay, let's go ahead and vote now. So let's vote for prom jester. You vote for prom royalty because I want Jacob to be prom royalty. And then Amethyst could be prom jester. I think that'd be really cute. If they both win prom, that would be so amazing. <gasps> Look how good Nova looks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amethyst, you... Wow. Well, <laughs> wowzers. You know what I'm saying? Is Wolfgang here as well? Surely Wolfgang's got to be here, right? <gasps> Wolfgang's not here. No, 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 no. Wolfgang, come here. Come here. I'm not having any of that. No, there's no food. Okay. I don't want to pay for it. Oh my God. No, no, I'm not paying for it. That's so rude. Unless we can take it home. Actually, yes, that's actually a smart idea. And then we'll just take it home afterwards. Remind me to take it. Can we take it? We can. Okay. Legendary behavior. Honestly, prom is such a stressful experience. You got to keep dancing. <gasps> 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 Gideon. Oh my God. Guys, guys, guys. No, this is our day. She's ours. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely not. No. Gideon, get away from our girl right now. Excuse you. You soddy, soddy, soddy man. You soddy, soddy, soddy man. Okay. Nova, I don't know how to feel right now. That's made me really sad. I thought we were, I thought we had something, you know? I thought that, oh, I could cry. I could cry. I really could. Although I did cry a lot last night, so I actually couldn't. But I really, you know, if, if it wasn't for that, I really could. Oh my God, Jacob, that dance move oh yes love it love it love it love it maybe you guys can dance together that would be cute right wait what no jacob oh my god it said sweetheart dance together with nova i was like if you are stealing your <gasps> wolfgang's a young adult oh uh, you know i'm just gonna age him back down there we go much better i was like why can't i flirt <laughs> excuse you okay that's better i was gonna say girly absolutely not right let's do a sweetheart dance together come on that'd be really cute and these two as well i want you all to be dancing okay i require this okay you've got you've kind of, kind of got crappy lives this is kind of all you got i'm sorry i had to tell you this but it's kind of the truth okay come on dance guys dance dance <laughs> please okay <gasps> we got a gold medal yay okay let's do a sweetheart dance together i really want them to dance come on come on this is so cute oh <gasps> they're doing it oh wolfgang looks so cute guys this is so sweet i'm so glad that these two both have someone i think this is so adorable oh <gasps> wait where's nova going um excuse you uh, excuse moi no oh wait why are you dancing there guys is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen look at this these two dancing they're both wearing purple as well and those two walking away from each other <laughs> No, not what I wanted. Not what I want. I want the dance. I want the dance. Okay, come back. No. You know what? Actually, before I do that, I kind of want to take a photo with... Let's take a romantic photo with Wolfgang. Quickly, because the principal's going up on the stage now. I want them to have photos together. <gasps> okay, prom war ceremony is starting. Okay. <sighs> Amethyst. Jacob. Jacob is in there. We need to hurry up, Jacob. Get back out here, please. <laughs> we could potentially win. Guys, this is so exciting. Everyone stood around. I love how these two are matching. I liked it that it's intentionally. And it's not just because purple's both their favorite color. Okay, it was intentional. Okay. And these two look so good together as well. Like, look at this fit wolfgang is wearing it is banging look at them the two of them together <gasps> oh and jacob's really happy with the photo oh my god this is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life ever oh my god sorry i'm so lame but it really is it truly is are they gonna win it i really hope they do come on guys come on principal you know you want to give it to the, the two weirdos of the class <laughs> no offense the two occults <gasps> we've won we've won i'm sorry but we've won yes oh my god out with this why do you look like that girl oh you're so tired we won oh my god jacob won at prom royalty and amethyst won prom jester yay Oh my god. <gasps>
Guys, I'm going to cry. This is so cute. Also, the principal does not look happy, but look how cute. The principal's like, you guys really picked the two occults. You know what it probably was? This is so mean. Do you guys think that because they're both occults, like they've seen Faya and all the dead bodies around and all of the videos that she's made and they've seen Amethyst doing all the spells and they know that Jacob is about to become a werewolf and they're like, oh, you guys could totally win. <laughs> you guys would totally win. I, you've got my vote. You know, remember that. Remember that next time it's a full moon. Okay, Jacob, you know what I mean? Like maybe it was a pity vote, but I'm going to pretend like it wasn't. Not even a pity, more of like a scared vote, but I'm going to pretend like actually it was just out of the fact that they all love them so much. This is so sweet. I'm so happy for them. You know what? Okay, I want you to also to come and take a photo. Let's also take a romantic photo with Nova. I really want these photos. I think that's just such a nice thing. And like when we have their own houses, it'll be so sweet to have them like all in their houses and having it on the wall. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so lame, but I'm so happy. <gasps> we could take one in front of here as well. Take a selfie. Go on, Jacob. This will be such a fun thing to have on the wall. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, you look so cute. Yes, 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 yes. You look adorable. Oh, look at your crown. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look how happy they look. Guys, this is so sweet. Oh, I'm, so, 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 I'm sorry, but this is so adorable. <gasps> and Amethyst and Nova have a strong romantic relationship. Yay! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you go take a confident photo as well while she's there? <gasps> Maybe these two can take a selfie together. Jacob and Amethyst, that'd be so cute. Come on, guys, quickly. We haven't got time. It's gonna it's gonna close in like half an hour. Go, 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 go. People, we have not got time for this. Go, guys. Genuinely. Hurry up. I'm not. I'm dead serious. Oh. Right. <laughs> I don't think she knew we were taking a photo, but <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, she's moved now. That is hilarious. <laughs> She was like, oh, you guys take a photo? Oh, that's 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 cool. I like photos. I would like, I'd like to be in the photo. Oh, that's so sad though, but also hilarious. Look at her just inside of Jacob right now. <laughs> Incredible behavior. But yeah, that was so successful. I can't believe they both won. I'm so happy for them. Jacob's gonna become a werewolf properly tomorrow. And look how good they look as well. Are you kidding me? And they're so flirty and everything. They're like, uh, yeah, I know I look good. What a night. All the right moments, all the right music. You'll treasure the keepsake in your house of inventory for years to come. Absolutely, we won't, but I appreciate the uh sentiment. Um, okay. <laughs> Are they doing like an after party or? Max Villarreal. Oh, God. Another Villarreal is trying to ask us out. Ah, uh, no, thanks, uh, Villarreals. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of them, let's be honest. Let's go home. It's 11 o'clock, you know? Everyone will probably be somehow awake when we get home. So, you know, that's a disaster. Also, look at our little family down there. That's so cute. And the fact that they're both wearing the crown and the jester thing. Now, let's be real. I don't know how funny Amethyst is, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Personally, if they would have had, well, first of all, two things. If I'd have gone to prom, for one, if I hadn't have dropped out of school. And number two is if they had actual prom royalty and prom jester at my my school and number three if i was more popular i totally would have won prom jester <laughs> not to flex but i'm kind of hilarious so let's go ahead and put all of this lovely food in the fridge this will be very helpful for a while to have all of this stuff in there but i want to have a look at the little photos that we've got so <gasps> You are joking right now. You are literally joking. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I actually could cry. Maybe it's my period. I don't know, but I actually could cry right now. That is so cute. Above, oh, we could put that oh, next to so when they're doing the, actually, when they do the punching, that's kind of weird to put. <laughs> we'll put it just here. That is so sweet. And then we also have this one with the by themselves. Oh my God. Oh, a gnome. You know, that's kind of iconic. I Listen, I kind of love it. That is so sweet. Oh guys the prom was such a good night for them i'm so happy and let's look at the ones we've got of the two of them with that random the gnome again are you kidding me <laughs> did we get any good ones they literally all have the gnome that's just covering amethyst's face completely i think that's the only normal one we have okay that's fine put this one in here as well oh that's so sweet with the two of them and we also have these ones of amethyst as well <gasps> she looks so good and her and nova doing the little heart guys i'm actually gonna cry this is the sweetest thing ever i'm i'm dead serious this is so adorable i don't know why i get so so lame over my sims but listen does anyone else because i yeah <laughs> this is just too cute oh i want tinker to have that experience as well we're gonna go to prom with every single one of the sims no i'm just kidding i don't think every single one of the sims can have a relationship it's just that i happened to find people that i was like yeah <laughs> with these sims so far everybody please get to see what on earth what have you guys been doing oh my god <gasps> what just just casually in, in the room and then we have art the cloud oh my god art has been on a, a killing spree already for god's sakes why are you that how did you get there you do not look happy oh my god who's left the child <gasps> That is brutal. We really are trying to get rid of art. That's so evil. Go get art for God's sakes. Oh my God. I can't even believe that. I actually can't even believe that. I genuinely am in shock about that. I don't even know how that's even possible that that's happened. What on earth? Faye, you're gonna have to go on a sprint. Wait, why are you just, no, art, not Penny, art. Okay, 
Go get. No, go get off, for God's sakes. Oh my God. Look how far away, genuinely. This is on three times speed, okay? Look how far away this child is. Like, look, we're still going. We are still going. I, oh my God. Oh my actual God. What on earth? <laughs> We are the worst people. We are literally the worst Sims parents ever. And and that wasn't even me. That was just like, that was Faye just being left at home alone. This is why I should never leave the house. Honestly, actual proof. I should never leave the house. And now you're going to pee yourself. The whole family loves to pee themselves, truly. Oh, uh, and now the child's back. Nothing like a two hour trip down the hill to find your child that somehow got there. I'm very concerned about art. I don't know if I like that child. Like, listen, maybe it's because I said that I don't like the Terrifier films. You know, maybe that's why. But me, oh my, they are really not. They, they this child does not like us very much. I, I mean, to be fair. <laughs> Listen, can you blame the child? No, not really. Not really. Especially when all he wants to do is kill people, you know? Although we're in that business as well, Art. You just haven't, you just don't know that yet because we haven't killed anyone in a while. Maybe Art's like, girl, go kill some folk. And we're like, okay, fine, child, fine. Honestly, everyone, please get to sleep. I am gonna just cry. There's just too much happening. There's too many Sims. Tinker's just happily doing these crafts. I can't blame you, child. Again, the children are very smart to get up in the middle of the night or like to get up really early so that they have a bit of peace and quiet. Like that is so smart of them because the rest of the daytime is hell. Okay, finally, everyone is asleep. Oh my god. Peace and quiet for the five seconds. Ah, oh, everybody breathe. Everybody breathe. It's so peaceful and quiet. Look, not one sound of screaming child. Never mind. Never mind. Who's the most awake? Jake, I'm so sorry. You got you uh, you don't have a job, so you gotta you gotta keep doing you gotta keep being a doll and uh, and helping out. Poor Faya cannot. She just simply cannot. Oh, this is so cute. And they both have like the same hair colour. Oh, I love Penny. I feel like Penny's definitely the uh, the happy one, I'd say, out of the two. <laughs> Which kind of fits between Pennywise and Art the Clown. <gasps> And it's officially summer as well. And it's Jacob Wolf Day. Why did I put a what off day? Why has it got a space in between? <laughs> what off day? Okay. But so apparently today, because it's a full moon from the looks of it. Yes, it is a full moon. We can go to the lake when the full moon is up and we can become a werewolf. Now, I don't know if this is true. This is just what you guys have told me. Uh, so if it's not true, I will sue. But hopefully it is It is legit. Poor Jacob having to potty train Eve. Although I think that, um, I feel like Jacob kind of likes kids-ish. So <laughs> I think Tinker hates children, but I feel like that's just a given because, you know, she's a robot. Children, it's like, uh, excuse you. Yes, I was once one, but still. Okay, so I was thinking, right, about different ways to kill Sims, obviously, as you do. You know, before bed, you're thinking, huh, how shall I kill a Sim today? And I was thinking, what club activities are on here that could kind of help? I guess if we did eat, then we could get them to eat the puffer fish. That's one option. I was low-key hoping that they'd be like, you know, the piranha pool thing that you can get the pond where you can kill Sims? I was kind of hoping that maybe there'd be like one thing being like, swim in the pond, but I don't know if there is, <laughs> unfortunately. And we kind of always obviously just do like go swimming, but yeah, again, none of these things can kill you. Really sad times. I was thinking potentially a sauna because that's a classic way of killing sims. So, I mean, we could always do that. But yeah, I don't think any of these are ones that we could... No, okay. Unfortunately not. I don't know. I just thought we could use that. I don't know if we should just do the pool thing. I did end up deleting it just because it was kind of annoying me there. But shall we just do that or should we do the puffer fish? I feel like maybe the puffer fish. Maybe if we put on a club, on the slaying club. Let's add... Who do we want to kill? <laughs> I think I kind of want to kill Vlad. I think he'd just be a great one to kill, obviously. We obviously need to kill a robot still, but I'm not killing Quarty. Need to kill Daddy Winter, obviously. Where is my guy? Clement, would you mind <laughs> would you be a doll and join our club i bet if we just invite him over but yeah i do want to kill him today so yeah slay <laughs> literally as i always say let's go ahead and let's cook some puffer fish now we've got to make sure the kids don't eat it some of you guys were saying you could put it in a different fridge but unfortunately fridges are all connected on the same lot so you can't actually do that let's go ahead and cook we'll do a party size you know because this will be a party maybe we could do it as a dinner party actually because the thing is right i've had this idea we don't have to kill the occult that we've had a baby with like it's not like we've got to carry on by that rule if we fancied it we could just have a dinner party and kill loads of people today like loads of the occults today and then have babies with different ones you know what i mean so i wouldn't mind doing that you know <laughs> i kind of want to kill kill and you she's mean i'm not really vibing her to have a baby with to be honest there's plenty of other fish in the sea you know what i'm saying because that she's a mermaid <laughs> Okay. So I reckon if we do this and then we put eat, then hopefully that should work. And then also say that we like to be mean because we need to get them in an uncomfortable mood, basically. So honestly, like fight and everything. Just the whole the whole shebang. You guys were also saying that if Jacob eats some of the puffer fish, then they'll be able to actually cook the puffer fish because they've got a low cooking skill. Hopefully it should be poor quality. So I'm going to try and do that today. They need to be in a good mood though because otherwise they'll die. So, you know. But also, I'm going to get them to go on a jog. Again, I really want them to get their skill up. Look how cute they look in this outfit. Oh my God, they're so adorable. I actually love them so much. Look at this little hot weather outfit. It's so cute. Anyways, <gasps> can I mean use phone in? Me and Celeste are probably spending time together. Yeah, sure, whatever. Unfortunately, you won't be spending any time together. In fact, any time at all alive because you'll be dead soon. So, 
that's unfortunate for you but actually very great for us oh all of these things are out of season now because it's summer right is this okay it's normal quality so girl do not eat this <laughs> unless you want to die i'm actually gonna save although she's pregnant so i don't think she can die but i'm still gonna save anyways because i don't trust this sim okay i don't trust the sims 4 but i reckon maybe we have a little party today you know we do add an event we do a dinner party and we just try and invite as many people as we can you know so caleb definitely caleb and you definitely vlad definitely clement definitely we could also invite shell but i kind of like shell that's the one of the fairies and also this sims alien i kind of like alien i think that's all of the ones we'll go kill today you know uh, and we'll do it at our house but we'll do it like 12 you know time for dinner i was gonna get the child to eat puffer fish then and i was like oh maybe not actually go ahead and have some almond macarons it's so fancy i love how this laurel is just like watching over amethyst as she sleeps kind of scary to be honest but you know it's fine to <laughs> do a beauty products review i don't know what the hell that can be but sure also got another 1100 smolies from the royalty report i feel like she's doing really well you know oh look it up in the lipstick why are you still wearing that girl i don't okay i mean i guess be comfortable you're pregnant but you know kind of a yeah <laughs> Odd. You gotta be getting ready, Jacob. It's a very big day for you today. Dinner party starts soon. We are very ready. Thank you very much. Actually, I'm gonna see if Jacob can eat this. Again, I'm gonna save it because <laughs> I'm scared they're gonna somehow get into an uncomfortable mood as they're eating it and die. So let's see if we can just grab a serving of this. They, they seem to be okay though. And then that way they'll be able to cook. And currently they don't have any cooking skill. So if they do make it, it should be really crap and therefore be poor quality, which is way easier to kill the Sims by. So I'm just gonna stay here. Just wait with you so that you don't die. Death is inevitable. Jacob just didn't think, Jacob knows that they just didn't think they'd be thinking about it so soon there is still so much to do how will jacob get everything done if death is just around the corner is that just because you're eating this <laughs> no i don't know maybe it is you're not gonna die babes i tr trust me i, I actually I don't trust me i you should not trust me i understand though I, I really do get it we're about to have a dinner party for killing people so i do kind of get the you know the fear a little bit at least it's an excuse to dress up nice though you know first block master unlocked are you kidding me <laughs> you're joking oh my god i'm this i'm so sorry to do this to you but you're gonna have to go give the bath to the child oh god i do not envy her at all right now okay let's start the party Okay, and now I think that they should be able to create the puffer fish. <gasps> they can. Okay, let's just try like a family size, you know. Also, I kind of want them to be in a bad mood, but it's okay. Let's just see if this works. Right, everyone should be coming around now. Come on, guys. Very exciting stuff. We're going to be killing people. Okay, also, she's finished a beauty review. Let's do the perfect foundation to look like a vampire. <laughs> to seduce them true story there we go okay let's head on downstairs babes <gasps> look at her in a cute outfit oh my god okay let's head on downstairs you know it's a dinner party after all let's get all the guests to sit around they're not even arrived yet <gasps> our cow plant grew oh my god 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 okay guys let me know in the comments what you want to name it obviously it's already a little simple but let me know what you guys want me to name the cow plant in the comments i actually think i'm gonna move the cow plant a bit closer because i can see me absolutely forgetting that it's got the cake out and it dying also there's just a random rising star here okay go ahead and feed the cow plant babes honestly if i could kill the sims with cow plant i would oh and vladdy daddy's here with a very suave top hat i love to see it <gasps> why are you eating that child child don't eat the don't eat the puff fish <laughs> don't eat the puff fish put this on the table get everyone to start eating it how is everyone feeling today is vlad in a bad mood hopefully let's insult him <laughs> i feel bad killing vlad he's such an icon but he also probably has killed other people so it's not that bad okay he's bored hopefully that means if he eats then he should die <laughs> so call everyone to meal i just hope that the kids don't eat it i don't think that they should though you know what, child? Go upstairs. I feel like this is not a safe place to be in. You know, it's very traumatic down here. So maybe just, just head on upstairs. You know, I think everyone should be upstairs today. <gasps> You've been selected for the Seven Wild Dates romance-based reality show. If you choose to participate, you'll be tasked with having seven consecutive perfect dates with hidden cameras recording every move. If you complete all dates perfectly, you'll be rewarded with a grand prize. Yes, we're signing up for that. Oh my God, I haven't done that before, but that's so cool. Oh my God, we have to. We have to, we have to. Okay, sorry. Anyways, that's so perfect for Faya because we'll be doing that anyways. Okay, Caleb. Wait, why is Caleb here? Did I invite Caleb as a guest as well? Uh-oh, he's got the puffer fish. Okay well he might die <laughs> wait Faya, don't eat it people do not no one else is gonna eat this okay no stop it stop being so silly okay stop it don't hand the child to Faya. just go put the oh my god i'm gonna just kill someone literally in a minute actually guys no oh my fire oh my god everybody stay calm why are you eating the puffer fish as well it's not your puffer fish everyone upstairs okay this is not this is not for you no okay no 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 no. upstairs upstairs everybody out everybody out of this room right now i'm all for killing sims but not my own family okay oh he's not his stomach is feeling a bit funky let's go ahead and form a group with all of the people we want to kill i guess we're killing both vampires i mean we all you know there's no point not i guess but also just gonna start it as a gathering 
coming as well so that this way hopefully they'll stop being mean to each other which obviously kill them tinker stop it <laughs> eat something from the fridge okay eat a nice macaroon like your sister did not flipping puffer fish that could kill you okay it's just it's not it's not the vibe it's not the vibe okay she's really eating it but i think she's in a good mood i really want them all to die at the same time that'd be so fun <gasps> she's tense now and daddy winter will you be in a bad mood as well i'm saving because i'm scared <laughs> I keep saving because I'm frightened I'm gonna somehow kill one of my own sims. Guys, everyone sit down. Vampires, this is not cool, okay? Stop floating around everywhere, okay? <laughs> we'll try to have a nice meal. Okay, insult everybody. I'm so sorry, Caleb, but I know we're pregnant with your baby right now, but we are gonna kill you in a minute. So, you know, bit peak. Thought like we need some music or something, you know? Like some nice, like, terrifying music in the background just to really add to the whole effect. <gasps> We've got this timeless thing. This is so perfect for our aesthetic as well. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can only put prom night, really? Maybe we'll just put one on the wall or something. There we go. Now, let's play some. <gasps> Vlad's feeling very uncomfortable. Let's play some classical. That sounds like it'd be very scary. I can't lie. It's been so long since I killed a sim with puffer fish. Like, I know we killed what's her face, but that was like a while ago, you know? I'm just being mean to everyone. It's the only way I could think to make them in a bad mood. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. I guess if we had like some grossness in here, like maybe if we just plop the toilet in here. I know that sounds so silly. But they'll probably be like, ew, everything's so gross. Like, ew. Could we also ask them to get into their hot outfits or something? Because then that way maybe they'll be burning. Like if we put the thermostat on. I don't know. I'm trying to think of different ways. <laughs> Vlad's feeling so uncomfortable, but he's not dead. What the hell? Is that only we've only got one serve? left really come on Vlad. at least so i want someone to die today i can't go on like this well they can't go on either otherwise that would be sad but i want them to die really vlad really you're not gonna die bro what are you doing good sir just sit down <laughs> oh my god guys this is a disaster you know what i've had an idea we might have to just take one for the team <sighs> let's get a pool okay <laughs> I, I just, it's not happening. It's just not gonna happen. We, we've just gotta kill him the old fashioned way. You know, there's a reason, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an oldie but a classic. Maybe we could even do a rounded one, you know? Flipping hell, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh my god. No, 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 never mind. Just kidding. Right, we're gonna have to make it quite big because they all need to fit in there. But that should be about okay. Yeah, we'll get everyone in there, but we need to go do Jacob's woof thing first <laughs> because otherwise we're not gonna be able to leave. You know what? At least at the very least, we're probably gonna pay for the pool by just selling all their plates. So I guess that's a win. But I'm still rather upset, to be honest. Jacob, why would you leave? the macaroons there. <laughs> Is that for the kid? No, don't eat the puffer. No, no, kid, don't eat the puffer fish. Seriously, don't eat the puffer fish, okay? Genuinely, don't do that. Normal quality again, Jacob. Not good enough, okay? We want it bad. We want it bad quality. I don't know how to make people uncomfortable. I'm gonna Google it. I searched Sims 4 easiest and the first thing that comes up is way to kill a sim. We're all so alike. Yeah. yeah, everyone's saying puffer fish. I mean, guys, that's what I'm trying, honestly. It's just so difficult nowadays, you know? I was like, where's the toilet? Hmm. <laughs> Let me take a guess. All right, let's get everyone to, to grab another servant. Let's see if that helps at all. I mean, it's a horrible, like, you know, we've got a lot of grossness. I love how Santa's just eating our macaroons. What a little sod, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know if Vlad can die, like, if the vampires can die from this anyways. Oh, <gasps> he's being sick. Okay, I think that's just because he's a vampire, though. Oh, it's nearly over and no one's dead. What a tragedy. Truly, what a tragedy. I'm just, I'm distraught about this, guys. I was really wanting you to don't eat the puffer fish child for god's sakes oh my god guys whose silly idea was this <laughs> whose like stupid idea was this i can't remember can you <laughs> what do you do with the child why are you putting it on the floor that i'm gonna cry <laughs> genuinely speaking and we we're, we're, you know we got a gold day yay yippee but no one's dead so who cares honestly right i can't i'm <laughs> that was a disaster at least we got some pot racks and a coffee machine honestly maybe we need that maybe we do need that not really what i like we kind of wanted to kill people we didn't just want coffee you know what i'm saying i mean vlad just keeps going back in for more honest to god but they're just not dying and she's peeing herself great fair great just great just what i wanted that's actually that that was the plan all along was to actually yeah you to pee yourself so i mean at least you achieve that i guess what on earth <laughs> this is so disastrous i think it's best we just sell all the plates we'll get all our money for the you know the killing but we need to go ahead and get jacob to go to the lake in a minute so maybe go ahead and put the child upstairs even though when we come back let's be real the child will somehow be down the road probably in a lake you know the child will be just floating along on this on this on the sea because clearly Faya cannot handle anything when she's by herself okay the child's just falling asleep here right jacob's not feeling great we're gonna just go <laughs> Let's just go do our woof day, okay? I've been waiting for this for ages anyways, but wow, that was disaster. It's just, I mean, who would have thought Killer Sim was this difficult? Not me. Not me, honestly. Right, I don't know what lake it is they go in, but I'm just gonna go to, like, one of these random houses. We'll just, we'll just go swim and hope that that way we'll become a werewolf because we need something good happening today. <laughs> okay, I think these are actually some of the sims you guys added, which is really cool, but unfortunately, we're not, we're not in the market right now. <laughs> How does one swim in the lake? What lake? Is it this lake? Oh, I'm assuming it's this lake. Okay, let's go ahead and back flow and just see what happens. I don't know. I'm very intrigued about this whole situation but it says that they're a dormant wolf apparently you guys kept saying that if i go if we go swim they will become <gasps> wait oh my god it's all glaring oh <gasps> this is so beautiful i'm sorry i've never seen this but this is so beautiful oh my god this is gorgeous oh <gasps> <gasps> they become a wolf oh my god yes yes yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was faster than i expected but they're 
a wolf. <gasps> this is magic. Are they going to become like a full-on wolf? Oh, God, I hope not. But this is so magical. Oh, my God. Who knew wolf could be so beautiful? Although Jacob is, so, you know. But are they going to, like, become a full-on wolf? Look at them. <laughs> They're a wolf. Oh, my God. Guys, the outfit. The heels. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of scary, but... Oh, my God. Yo, what on earth? Okay, first of all, they're definitely a ginger wolf, not a gray wolf. But look at... Why is their one eye, like, so big? What is going on? I can't believe they're an actual werewolf with the sweatpants. <laughs> That's such a funny outfit. Right, can we go into criticism? Can you... <gasps> Wait, can I not? Oh, my God, all I can do is, like, howl and stuff. I've never played with werewolves before, so this is so fun. Oh, this is sick. Oh, they just went out. Ooh. <gasps> look at them running around on all fours, you little furry. This is so funny. Look at them. They're on their phone. <laughs> Honestly, a legend. Nothing like being a werewolf running around, but you still gotta check TikTok. Still gotta check if anyone's liked your TikTok. I can't blame them. Oh, they're so cute. They got such a lame little werewolf thing. Oh, adorable. Can I not do anything with them? Do they just have to like live like this now? All I wanna do is go to create it. Can we go home? Are they gonna like rampage everything when we get home? I'm a bit worried. I don't know how this works. What do we do? Howl it. Go. I, I, so I want you to go home, please. Look at them in fast forward. That's so funny. Oh my god. I've only ever seen werewolves just like around town, you know, like when you're out on the town, casual, you know, Friday night. And you you see a werewolf just running around very fast and you just sort of see a glimpse and you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of all I've ever experienced of werewolves. So this is quite exciting actually being able to play with one. That outfit, bro. That outfit is genuinely the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Look at them as well. They're like one little eye. Can I do anything? Scratch? Don't you dare. Okay, we have a very nice home. <laughs> Finally. Can we like do anything with the... <gasps> Can we like kill? No. <gasps> Tinker, this is not a pool for you. <laughs> That's a pool to kill people with. Speaking of which, actually, let's make sure we've still got our gathering going. And let's go ahead and put swim. There we go. I wish we could get Daddy Winter in the club. Can we ask him? Is he still here? Oh, no. He's gone home. Please, Daddy Winter, come back. I know you hate us, but still. Look at her in this outfit, by the way. <gasps> Amethyst and Nova's relationship has fizzled away. What? Also, Clem is not coming, but why is it fizzled? What? <gasps> why is all the relationship gone? Just good friends? No. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not true. What did did she find out about the killing thing? I mean, it makes sense. Snarl at, why are you doing that to Faya? <gasps> and the cake's out. Oh god. Okay, feed the cow plant. Feed the cow plant. Go feed the cow plant, please. I'm not letting the cow plant die. We've literally had it for five seconds. What's happening? <gasps> She's so scared of Jacob. Oh, I feel bad. It's all happening. It's truly all happening. Honestly. All right, have a chicken child, okay? And then come up to bed. I'm gonna just pause for a second. Get everyone sorted. Okay, you know what? Just sleep here. That's fine. Just go to sleep there. You're asleep. Tinker's asleep. Perfect. In the wrong bed, though. Excuse you. Amethyst. Honestly, you're kind of awake. I want you to try and talk to Nova. I'm a bit concerned about that. Jacob, can't we do anything with you, can I? No. Maybe have a shower. Can you have a shower? Is that possible? No, smash, absolutely not. Right, I want everyone to come out swimming. Okay, we've got Colum and you out. Also, for some reason, not a mermaid, even though she is. But okay, is everyone gonna go swimming? Everybody go swimming, please. Anybody go swimming? I'm gonna go twice, go once, go twice. Please go swimming, thank you. I'm just gonna leave Jacob there. Just hope for the best, really. Amethyst, maybe it's best you go to bed. Although, no, wait, we've got Nova coming round. Actually, why did we invite over our kind of girlfriend when we have a flipping raging werewolf? Maybe you guys should stay out here. <laughs> maybe that's for the best. I mean, maybe don't go inside, actually. It's a horrible place in there. Think about Jacob Wolf Day. Be like, aha, Jacob's a werewolf. And he might kill you if you're not careful. So stay outside. Thank you. Oh my God, Vladdy Daddy in the Speedos. Incredible behavior. We've got everyone in here now, except for Clement. But that's okay. Right, sweat. We'll skip. <gasps> Should we make them all skinny dip? Absolutely. Yes, we will do that. Thank you. I'm surprised she can swim, you know, because she's pregnant. I didn't think she'd be able to, but are we all skinny dipping? <gasps> We're all skinny dipping. Okay, now get out. Get out. Get out. Oh my god, that's so mean. She's like taking away their clothes and also taking away their, you know, life. But you know, it's fine. And let's just plop a wall around. Let's do a nice fence. Oh, it's got hearts on it and everything. How cute. <laughs> if you ignore the death part. There we go. Wait, Vlad can like teleport out. Okay. This might not work for Vlad. <laughs> I just thought about that. But the other two will die and they're both nudes. That's funny. We'll leave them to it. Make sure I don't leave the house now, because that's that would be unfortunate. They wouldn't die if that was the case. Also, turn off this. I just want everyone to be calm. Jacob is not calm. How do I get them to un, you know, be like this? Is it just because it's a full moon? That's probably why, isn't it? Bro, Amethyst is so scared of Jacob. I feel so bad. Wait, is their relationship okay? Okay, it's still okay. I'm gonna say, I hope this doesn't like affect their relationship. I'm just gonna sit here and mop all this stuff up and eat and put away all this stuff. Don't know where that rug's come from, by the way. Stay here, okay? Let Amethyst sleep, for God's sakes. Poor Nova, I've invited around and then just slept and left our little raging sick sibling just wandering around. So sorry about that. You could always meet her though. Oh, and both the kids are crying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a 
nightmare. Okay, she's in a third trimester now. I was gonna say, surely she's gonna give birth soon. I'm ending the episode the minute she gives birth. So I'm just waiting. Okay, <laughs> just checked. Art has four milestones. Penny has five. So we still got a while to go with that, unfortunately. Nova's going home. Can't blame you, girl. Can't blame you, to be honest. Okay, now please go to sleep. For the love of Christ, just go to sleep. Everybody, except for Jacob, because you, you're still. No, 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 Let your mother sleep. Okay, she's had a rough day. She's very pregnant. She just wants to go to sleep. Okay, Jacob, come here. No, you dare smash it. <gasps> you scratched up all the. Okay, oh my god. You, you, you're on your last legs. That's not the right. Actually, you're not on your last legs. You've got multiple now, apparently, but you've got four now. Also, Mortimer Goff's walking by with a book about anything particular. No, can't see it. It looks like an interesting book, though, Mortimer. I hope you have fun reading that whilst you've walked by a werewolf, you know? Casual. Is Faye not asleep? Golly, what are you doing? Also, there's just a smell coming from where? Like, oh my god, people have been putting them there. Really, guys. You know what? Like I said, though, we're really paying for the whole house with just some plates. So I guess at the end of the day, a win is a win. The dinner party was unsuccessful, but at least we've got some people out here dying. You know, that's what I say. I wonder if Caleb might just die from the sun. I never, you never know. Oh, and Jacob was back. Oh, thank god. Jacob, you were kind of frightening yesterday. I can't lie. I didn't like that whole side of you. I mean, I know I was like, you know, wanting you to be like that, but it was quite a lot. It was quite a lot. At least you've got full energy, though. You can go ahead and uh, have a nice bit of punching. Get your anger out in a different way than, you know, killing folk. Maybe, we, you know, Faye needs to learn that as well. Or me, actually, because I'm the one that wants her to do that. Oh, and it's rebate day. Oh, great. Just what you want. First blood milestone unlocked. Thanks, Penny. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. Nothing I wanted more, actually, than to clean up your poo. Your pooey bum. First thing in the morning. 6 a.m. on a Monday. Actually, oh, it's Monday. Okay, everyone's off to school. Oh, thank God. You know what? That made my life a little bit easier. It's not ideal, but it's still a little bit better. Although, that means that Faye is home alone without any other teenagers or children. Oh, God. Okay, maybe that's not actually a good thing. <laughs> now I've thought about it. Now I really think about it. That's not actually great. Yeah, you guys are all going alone today. <laughs> At least please feed the child before you do anything else. Please. Jacob, please. Thank you. And everyone's off to school. Okay, let's get everyone to make some friends. See if there's anyone else around town that I did add from your guys' sims. Okay, let's upload the video. Why is so homework so hard to finish? It takes so long. Will Jacob ever finish it? Are you kidding me? You've got a fear of homework now? <laughs> guys, this is not the vibe. Fear of how could you have fear of homework? To be fair, homework does suck. But still, okay. Still. Don't feel like just changing the diaper is going to do much for Penny. I'm not going to lie to you, babes. I don't know much about children, but I'm pretty sure she needs a bath. Oh, thank God we got some royalties. Oh, okay. And the child's wrecking literally everything. Cool, cool. Just what you wanted. Just what I asked for, actually. And now the other child's awake. This is a nightmare. Please just give birth. Seriously, please just give birth. I am not, I'm dead serious right now. If you just would give birth, that'd be wonderful. Why is she holding the baby like that? That's so funny. She's like, put it out as far as possible. Can't blame you, to be honest. Right, that child's okay. That child's okay. This one needs a bath. <sighs> This is so much more stressful than I expected. You didn't have seven perfect days, so yeah, no money. I forgot about that. Oh my God. I forgot about the date thing. I really wanted to do that as well. Oh my God, guys. This is nightmare, bro. Why have you picked art up? I didn't tell you to do that at all. What do you do with art? Oh my God, the child is fine. <laughs> this is so stressful. This is so... <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna kill Faye in a minute. At least the kids are meeting some people at school. For the love of Christ, this is so much stress. Right, you should pay. You should think about getting more long term. Not currently, because currently, just- <laughs> Currently, everything is the worst ever. What are you doing? The child is fine. I promise you, the child is fine. Okay. Please just give birth, bro. Please. Oh, and they're all still here, which is good. Oh, and she's fell asleep. Great, 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 great. Oh my god. And Amethyst this is met Gideon. Gideon was the sod who was dancing with our girl, so screw him. Okay, the children are about to get back in a minute, which is great. Because they can actually help out with the children. Go potty train Eve, okay? We've got no time. <laughs> the minute you get home, okay. I'm sorry, right on it. Right, right to it. What are you? I just Oh my god, guys, this is amazing. Oh god, okay, I'm fine. Oh great, they've returned home with school projects. You think I've got time? <laughs> you think I've got time to do a school project? No, I do not have time. Tinker, I'm so sorry. I'm just leaving you down here to just do whatever you want. All she needs is a social skill up. I'm gonna invite over Quirty and I'm gonna try and hope that we can get a social skill up so that we can age up Tinker because that would be another teen in the household, which would be amazing. Amethyst, girl, I just queued up so many things for you to do and you did literally none of them. How long could it possibly take to give birth? I'm dead serious. Like, I don't know much about birth, but I'm pretty sure she should be in labor right now. Okay, Penny's getting a lot of milestones. 
how many have you got actually? Because we only need eight. Okay, she's got seven. Okay, she just needs one more milestone. Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it, please. Oh, we can even scrub her with the toilet. That's wonderful. And I thought you were going to talk to Quirty. Where is Quirty actually? Because you guys are both robots. You get on, you know, you're the same vibe. Also, you need to go feed this because I'm not letting the cow plant die. No, no, no. Not happening. I'm just queuing up uh, so much stuff for these children to do. Everyone's got a plan. Everyone's doing something. I need to calm down. <laughs> this is so stressful. I don't know why all of a sudden. It's just, I think it's just because it's like the two infants and the toddler. It's just too much. And it's the autonomy as well. Like, girl, I do not care. Do not keep trying to take care of the child. I don't care. Have you had a blowout again? Okay, these two are having a nice time down here, which is good. I do really like the idea of these two being really good friends. Oh, apologize. Be like, I'm so sorry about last night, Amethyst. Like, I didn't think I was going to be such a little sod as a werewolf. I still need to give them a makeover as a werewolf, but I'll do that when we go into create a sim, make it over potentially Tinker. <gasps> Wait, clap milestone. That means that they've done it. That means that Penny's done it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <gasps> eight. Okay, Penny has done it. Oh, what do you need? I feel like you need so many more. Three. Okay, you need two more. Okay, oh, you know what? Who cares that you're stinky? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Okay, I really don't. You've just got to keep, just, just keep going. I heard you've been building your magical prowess. Would you like to put testing jewelry at the grounds? I would love to, Nova. But first of all, you're kind of a sod for like not wanting us anymore. But second of all, we don't really have the time. Uh, <laughs> we are sort of, you know, stressed uh, in every way right now. At least we got a lot of money though. I will say. Oh, look at them two hugging, guys. I actually love this friendship, and I'm not letting. I know it's like parent and child, but I'm not letting Quite die. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not. It's not happening. Quite is not going to be killed. I know some of you guys want it, but it's not happening ever. <gasps> wait, wait. Okay, wake up. Oh my god, I thought they would die. I thought they died, bro. I thought they died. That was so stressful. And Tinker has reached level five, meaning we can age her up into a teenager. Thank God. Also, Eve, all you need to do is get your potty up and your imagination up a little bit more. Honestly, can you just go potty again now? I know you're quite tired, but that'd be great. Oh my god, in the charts. <laughs> Mmm, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm all good, guys. Don't even worry about it. I'm all good. I just need you to go into labor so badly right now, babes. I've never wanted a sim to have a baby more in my entire life. Okay, everyone is pretty much asleep. It's so cute how it says wolf down sausage and peppers down. Look how fast they eat it. Ready? Look at that. That's so, that's so funny. I need to give them a proper wolf makeover. <gasps> God, it's labor. Oh, my God. Thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I genuinely am gonna cry. Oh wait, Caleb's in the pool. Oh, we can't have the baby at hospital. If we have the baby at hospital, all the people we're trying to kill are gonna leave. Okay, we will have to have the baby here. Meaning we'll have to buy a bassinet, but that's okay. Unfortunately, all the others we have gone to hospital for, but if we do that with this one, all the people in the pool will leave. And that's not happening, okay? They are trapped there forever, thank you. I swear we have a vampire bassinet somewhere. There we go, okay. And I don't actually know where to put it. We'll just put it in the living room. <laughs> we're also, no, we're only having one, so that's good news. Oh, that looks proper swanky, that does, doesn't it? Right, come downstairs now, baby. <laughs> Quickly, thank you. I really cannot. Also, I have not thought of any baby names. So I, I'm gonna have to look at the comments where you guys said. She is having her baby. Oh my god. I'm like, oh, what's it gonna be? I think it's gonna be a boy. And I think it's gonna be one, obviously. I kind of would like it to be a boy, because then we could call it Edward, which I think would be very funny. You know, Jacob and Edward. The rivalry, the sibling rivalry makes a lot of sense. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a girl again. Jesus Christ, we do have a lot of girls in this family, don't we? <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna look at the comments and see what you guys have been saying. I think I did have a few names written down, if you know what I mean. Ew, okay. I can hear my own voice. Gross, okay. I had Dimitri, Elwid, Valerie, Marceline, Ambrosia, or Raven written down. I kind of want to see what you guys said in the comments the last episode. Someone said Renesmee after the baby from Twilight. That is funny, actually. Where it says like, you named my daughter after the Loch Ness monster. Oh my God, that's Nessie. I think we'll go with Renesmee. That's a pretty name as well. Just gonna copy paste it just because I don't trust myself. Renesme. There we go. We could call her like Ren for sure. Oh, that's so cute. Ren for sure. Renesme Ember. That's such a tongue twister, but I don't even care. Okay, we have had our baby. Full house. Very much a full house. Dear Lord, save us now, honestly. Girl, go back right upstairs. Just go to sleep. <laughs> Just go straight back to sleep. Honestly, everyone needs to sleep. How are you awake again? I'm dead serious. How are you awake? Is it? I'm not, this is not funny. This is not funny. Is everyone asleep? Come on. I need to see that three times thing. Why isn't everyone asleep? What? Who's awake? No one's awake. Guys, no one's awake. Why isn't it skipping through the night? Oh, and the cow plant's gonna bloody die. You know what? <laughs> I. This has been a lot. This has been a lot of an episode. You know, we've tried to kill people. Oh, why isn't it skipping? Again, forget about the people we're trying to kill. Sorry about that, guys. I do apologize. I'm surprised Vlad hasn't just like tried to leave, you know? But yeah, forgot about these people. Remind me about that in the next episode because I feel like I'm gonna end up forgetting and just being like really mad that it's not skipping but I really would like them to die kind of funny killing a mermaid in a pool you know but I just want our graveyard to look a bit more full you know it's looking a bit sad right now I mean they're all looking pretty happy <gasps> are they flirting <gasps> did Caleb just flirt with Vlad I swear I just saw him go like that to Vlad <gasps> oh my god baby this is a love triangle this is amazing <laughs> this is brilliant oh and the children are awake great 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 put the child down go and breastfeed the other one do it Thank you. Oh my god. You know what, guys? 
guys <laughs> on that wonderfully stressful note i'm gonna leave the video right here that was a lot of an episode i feel very stressed i'm very warm that was the longest ever it wasn't even the longest video i've ever filmed of this series but it felt like it you know what i'm saying so let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments down below so we've got a few exciting things happening in the next episode so first of all we've had our baby so little renesme will probably be aging up into a infant which is horrifying then we will also have tinker where are they aging up into a teenager we will progress more with amethyst and of course with jacob and also we will have these two little sod bags aging up into <laughs> toddlers as well as this oh where's that child gone there we go this child aging up into a actual child so basically this episode there was like no one aging up but next episode there'll be like everyone aging up because they, this was just like a lot of skill building and stuff so hope you guys like this video sorry i couldn't kill anyone today but hopefully next episode that will happen uh, so let me know if there's any other suggestions for killing people in the comments down below there's many ideas i know there's a lot of different ways but let me know if there's any easier ways that you guys have found let me know if you've got any other ideas for this series in the comments down below remember to like and subscribe to everyone i'll see you guys in another video i love you guys Goodbye. that's all you get i'm sorry i'm so stressed i need to leave <laughs>